Hi, my name is James Barton, and this is a picture of some trees. The inspiration behind this painting really comes from my deep-rooted love for the outdoors and all that is nature. When I was little, I was super against being part of this organization that's getting a lot of flack right now called the Boy Scouts of America. And I just thought it was the most uncool thing. I thought people would think I was dumb. My middle school slash elementary school mind was really obsessed with popularity and fitting in, and this was just not the way to do it. But my dad gave me an ultimatum. He was, he said, give it a year, just try everything out. And if you hate it, you can quit. But if you really start to enjoy it, you should continue. So I gave that to him. I, I went through it and I really ended up liking it. Getting the merit badges, working on my leadership skills, learning how to survive in the outdoors, that I just would never have gotten the opportunity to learn had I not been part of this organization. And that's not to say that my family hadn't been camping before, like we had, but I would have never gotten the experiences or learned the things that I learned without having gone through the, the the path that was to become Eagle Scout. And for that, I'm super, super grateful for that organization. But it also opened up a lot of opportunities for me to explore nature in my own way. Because of all the things that I learned, I was able to, to take the skills, to take the experiences, and sort of create my own. My friends and I actually took a trip around the rim of the lake of Lake Tahoe, uh, which is about 165 to 170 miles approximately. And we basically planned for a through hike uh, and we, we, we were able to complete it. It was absolutely amazing. Um, it was 10 days and every single turn on every trail was absolutely breathtaking. It was, it was just incredible. I would, I would turn and see one crystal clear lake over here and then a gigantic tall mountain peak capped in snow over there. And the, some, some of the lakes, the water was warm enough to swim in. Every couple of days or so, it would torrentially downpour. There would be hail, lightning, um, thunder. It was super incredible. And being at the tops of these mountains, watching lightning strike across the basins was just, there's nothing like it. You just can't get that experience. I don't know. Something that was really special about that whole trip was the food. <laughs> Most people are really against backpacking food, but if you if you know how to if you know how to look around and find the, the good kinds of food at like REI or whatever camping store you're going to, you you can have a pretty successful meal. And my friends and I would trade between chili mac and beef stroganoff that comes out of the, like a bag. You just add some hot water that we made with our jet boils. And it was just really fun. And we'd all be sitting around um, like a little rock circle or, or one night a campfire, other nights on the ridge of a hill watching the sunset and just eating our meals, really admiring all of the nature around us. It was absolutely breathtaking. We also had uh, something that we called a, a tra our trail angel. Essentially every couple of days, she would come by to do our resupplies and bring all of this food to, <laughs> to have a little meal with us. It, it almost felt like we were cheating a little bit, but after like 45 miles over the course of three days or so, or maybe sometimes even more than that, it was really welcome to have something hot and freshly prepared that didn't come out of a bag. And that was super, super, super fun and super cool, uh, getting to have those little picnics. And I really hope to do these sorts of trips again, but right now all I, all I can do is really capture them in my paintings the best I can. Just being able to look up at the sky and admire the stars, it just, it was something really special. And I think everybody should get the opportunity to experience that. So go take a through hike. If you have any really cool camping places that you'd like to share with me, please put them in the comments below and maybe I'll get the opportunity to experience those as well. Also, if you have any ideas about what I should paint next, put those down there too.
If you enjoyed watching this video and learning a little bit more about my life, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to get more content updates on whatever else I'm doing. Thanks so much and until next time.